The following video will demonstrate a rules-based check in Salibri Model Checker for accessibility of toilet rooms based off the requirements from Chapter 11 of the 2009 International Building Codes. Here we have a simple model isolating only toilet rooms that would exist, for example, in a mercantile occupancy of a building. In the checking window, you can see the hierarchical listing of rules that correspond to the sections from the IBC 2009. Upon selecting one of these rules, in the info window you'll see the same description of the requirement as of that stated in the IBC. In order for the rule set to know which components need to be checked based off the requirements, components and spaces are automatically classified in the model. In the classification window, expanding the building elements for IBC 2009 Section 1109 classification, components that have requirements for accessibility from this section of the IBC are listed. These components can be selected which thereby isolates them in the view. We'll run a check of this rule set and expand the section that states the requirements for toilets and bathing facilities. One requirement is that toilet and bathing facilities must provide a 5-foot turning radius within the space. After selecting the rule that corresponds to this requirement in the checking window, in the results window we see all spaces organized by their space classification that violate this requirement. In this example, only the family or assisted use toilet room doesn't allow for a 5-foot turning radius. By double-clicking on the issue in the results window, the view is automatically positioned in the model to the location of the issue. Visualization aids are displayed in the view to show what the available turning radius is in green versus what the required turning radius is in red. Not only is the issue visually displayed, the info window provides the exact values of what the largest possible diameter is available in the space versus what the requirement states. The view can be updated to include other components such as the sink and the walls that are causing the violation. With the view now updated as desired, we'll create a slide for this result to save the viewpoint as well as additional information about the issue. In the issue details window of the results seen here, the description of the issue can be manually entered in the comments box, or default comment can be set by clicking the set default comment button. This default comment can be customized in the settings of Salibri Model Checker. Here it states the rule name, the description of the check, and the description of the issue. Similar to the diameter values in the turning radius rule check, the issue descriptions in Salibri contain actual dimensions, counts, properties, and other information to describe what was required versus what is actually there in the model. We'll now look at the check for the toilet location in a wheelchair accessible compartment. Again, in this example, the family or assisted toilet room has an issue as the center line of the toilet is only 15 inches from the sidewall, where the distance should be between 16 to 18 inches. Many of the rules have their own visualization aids when displaying results. In the view of this issue, the toilet and the nearest wall are isolated in the view, and a dimension line shows the distance from the center line of the toilet to the wall. We'll quickly create a slide for this issue as well and set the comment to the default comment. Now we can create a presentation of these two slides which can be viewed as a slideshow in the application or exported to a report. By clicking the Communication tab and clicking the Add New Presentation button, an option is available to create a presentation of the checking results, which are the slides that we just previously created. With the presentation now created, we can easily switch between the issues with their saved locations, visualizations, and descriptions. These are still live views in the model rather than images, which allows them to be updated and resaved. For example, in the issue with the toilet location, the slide can be easily resaved after moving the location of the camera and turning on all walls in the model. With the presentation now created, it can be exported to various formats by clicking the Report button in the Presentation window. For this demonstration, we'll export to an Excel report. In the exported report seen here, the rows of the spreadsheet are the individual results of the rule check, and the columns list the information associated with those issues. The location column lists the room where the issue is located. The picture column displays an image of the same view in the model that we created, and the issue comment lists the same description that we set from the default comment. The individual rules have hyperlinks attached to them, which are listed in the hyperlinks column of the report. By clicking the link, we're taken to the web page of the ICC's online library that lists the specific section of the IBC 2009. 
The last column lists the component IDs, which are the unique IDs from the building authoring tool. In the application that created the model, these IDs can be searched on to locate the components and correct the issues.